Hey, this is Tao1214, and I'm going to show you how to make a uh, actual paper fingerboard. They are really cool. They actually look like wooden ones. Pretty easy to use. And yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> I have crappy lighting in here. But all uh, it actually shows the plies. Well, I can't really see it. Huh. Yeah, you can't really see the plies, but uh anyway it just it's just made out of uh any file folder like this. And uh you can just uh, one sec. Oh well. Oh uh, just a piece of construction paper, any color you can for the plies. Uh I have other colors like you can use blue red or brown or anything and you're gonna need grit tape I got mine in this big thing but I, I have some pre-cut strips that I can use this is what the final product will look like it's pretty nice you try and get a better picture can't really see the plies my camera sucks sorry about that but this one was made out of red so it has red plies in the middle. Let me stop this so I can take a picture. Okay, see ya. Alright, so anyway, materials you need are construction paper, a file folder, um, some Tech Deck hardware right here, uh, a pencil, Where'd my grip tape go? It's on the floor. Got some grip tape, scissors, and uh, two Tech Decks for the mold. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, first off, you need to cut off some strips of paper from this. You need to cut it thick, a lot thicker, almost twice the size of your Tech Deck. Uh, so you can cut off the excess and it fits better. Oh wait, I forgot to say one thing. Also need glue. Elmer's glue ball works the best. Don't mind me skating. I'm a yeah, whatever. All right. Oh, so then you have this. This this is the color I'm gonna use in between. So I'm gonna cut this in half. And look, this is about the size of this. It's a lot bigger, so I have room for it to cut off. And uh, it's a pretty good size for that. Next, you need to take your file folder. I don't want to cut this one up. That's my mom's. <laughs> but uh, I have this right here, previously cut up from the ones I made. And then you need to cut two, actually four pieces of this. I have crappy cutting skills. There's three. I need one more. Oh, whoa. Okay, so then we have our plies. So you have four of these plies, and two of these red plies. What you're gonna do, set up one for the bottom, one goes in between that, a red one, and then two for the middle. This makes it thicker and it uh, holds it up together more. Then you put your red one on, and then your final top piece. You can switch around the colors if you want. Like I could have a red bottom, kind of like this one right here. This one has a red bottom. I also have ones that have a blue bottom. But oh, the other ones I have are just plain like this. Oh, and I also gloss these, so, uh, with the, the spray on gloss stuff, and it's, I need to add more coats on these, but I just started making them yesterday, so, pretty sweet, but, um, so let's get started. You take your glue all and your first ply. Let me see. Here's your first ply, okay? Alright, um, let's see. 
you need to take your tech deck molds, put one on the bottom, like that, and then take this, your first sheet, uh, open this, you gotta pour it all on. Hold on, let me get a better view. Alright, look at this. And just spread it all around. Wait, it's nice and sticky. And then take your red layer, stick it on top of it. Move it around so it's centered. Alright, okay, so this is going to be the bottom piece, so you want to make sure that uh, it doesn't have any stuff on it, unless you want graphics on it, which you can add later. Alright, so that's good. Next, you want to add your next layer. Your third layer. You don't want to use too much glue or it'll go seeping out the side, so you want to try and thin it. Alright. Now take your next layer, put it on top of that, and then this is the time to put it on top of the tech deck, and then you put one on top of it, oh, and you're going to need some clamps for this part, so here, let me go get mine, be right back. Alright, so here it is, and then I have two of these clamps like this. And then you need one big clamp. So you take your little clamps, put them on the kicks, like so. Clamp the kicks together. And then you need to take the big one, put it right in the middle. Yeah, look at this. So you've got those three layers clamped together, and they're already taking shape. You need to let this sit for maybe. I don't know, uh, probably ten or five minutes would let it set, and then you could add more layers. Mm, yeah, I guess ten minutes, or five or ten minutes would do good, and then you can add all your other layers and uh, keep it in the final mold while it's still drying, because it gets hard as a rock. Once the glue dries, it's really stiff glue, Elmer's glue all. Thank you, Elmer's. Time to take it out of the clamps. Alright. By now it should be uh, actually pretty stiff. You don't want to bend it too much or else it, uh, it'll it get like kind of nasty and it won't form back. So anyway, here you have it right here. Alright, time to put the next two layers on. I just got this inspiration like about probably this morning. I was watching videos on YouTube and stuff. Alright, so you put your layer of glue on. Then you put this on. Right now you don't really have to clamp it because it's already to the shape of the mold of the tech deck or whatever fingerboard, whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it. And then you want to put your next layer on. Again, you want to spread it around because if you have it all clumped in one place, it'll um, probably like leak out a lot. All right, you want to get this centered. And you put on your bottom one. You want to use the same tech uh, tech deck for the mold and to keep it consistent and to not mess up the shape. You want to line it up. It seems good. Put on your kick clamps. <laughs> kick clamp. Get it? I don't really know what that means. It's just clamps for the kick. 